Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do a quick reading for you today. Just in the middle of your week. Okay, asking that your spirit team join us, your spirit guides, your angels, higher self. <clears throat> and I open up to that divine white light. I'm trying to decide. Um, to do I guess we'll just start with Oracle and see what direction it wants to take us we'll let spirit lead as we always do for Aries wow nice there's two Sun cards in this deck and so Sun splendor if you think about the word splendor when it, like the expression of embracing something in all its splendor right when you embrace something with all its splendor, you're taking in literally all the goodness of this card um, because the sun, no matter how many times it guides us or is offered to us, we don't always soak it all in. Sometimes we stay inside and avoid the sun. Um, <clears throat> so what I get from this card then is, is that you're um, totally embracing the sun and all of the benefits, which is happiness new paths opening up enlightening you shining light on some type of major intelligence that's going to move you in an experience that you've possibly never experienced before <clears throat> we do have the um the geese up here so it could be like a lover's feel to this as i said that um the sun splendor can be many things wow i went flying <laughs> Okay, coming out of a dark time. Look, and it literally is the card that means taking flight. I love it. It's like humor. I love humor. I love, um, I love that. I love that. Okay, so <clears throat> here I go with the clearing of my throat again. This usually only picks up when I'm doing these readings. <sighs> Need some more water. Hang on. So you're, you're moving out of a dark period of your life where this snake energy is going to be released. You can imagine like if you had energy and it was in the metaphor of being a snake all crumpled up there and due to heavy emotions, dark times, worry, depression, anxiety, and then it gets freed and you start to see the sun splendor and embrace it. <clears throat> the crow lifts up literally you take flight and this energy is released the pearls released the wisdom that you gain the pearl that you were too busy in this dark time to even realize nor care was being created but now you get to care and you get to enjoy it oh i'm so glad because in the aries moon i'm so glad Yes, so like the card said, you're taking flight. Like it was talking to us, you have some kind of, uh, I don't even want to say it light, because this card is not light. This is celestial imagination. So you can, ima you can imagine that your imagination is very, well, you know what this is giving me? It's giving me the vibe of meditating and connecting with spirit and your imagination and being so conscious and aware of it that you're it's like you're pulling in like a waterfall these um ideas creative ideas you're getting visions too so for some of you it can be in dream state i have dreams all the time um here lately though I've been really enjoying my meditations and and I have noticed uh, the intertwining of imagination and spirit with that it's like I don't even pray anymore I meditate you know what I mean like if I'm gonna add, like I was thinking about that the other day like if I if I want something <clears throat> or I want to manifest or whatever it is like I think 
be still, be quiet. I think that's like the most powerful prayer you can do to visualize and meditate is meditate on it. Maybe pray on it too. I'm not going to ever tell anybody not to pray. But both. Do both. Something's coming to perfection. Literally, something's coming to perfection. You've perfected something. <clears throat> This is interesting because I don't know what you're going to create. But when you embrace this Sun Splendor card, you could be collaborating with somebody else too on it. Because it's big. This gives me like huge, creative, heavenly <laughs> inspired potential. And the darkness has released its hold on you or vice versa okay give us more information I'm not going to specify and it comes out with a card that this is by the way a little bit of a dark humor deck but I love that it matches the sun splendor the chariot is something that's moving forward we're going to take momentum take flight rising up transcending taking flight maybe maybe literally taking taking flight <clears throat> Meshes at the chariot. This could be about travel. This can be about whatever it is that you're coming out of. Whatever dark period you're coming out of, things are gonna <clears throat> pick up for you rather quick. Like um rising up, taking flight. Seven of wands, yes, lots of action. Oh, and the knight of wands too. The bottom movement travel, uh, seeing signs and synchronicities is probably very. That's probably something that's happening too. Can you trust yourself? Yes. Can you trust yourself with the way you're t interpreting signs and synchronicities? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's coming through. Cancer energy, Leo energy, two. Asserting oneself, knowing what you want and like going, going for it, going after it. <laughs> oh, intemperance. <laughs> oh, and the four of wands. This one doesn't do the four of wands justice. Okay, so. Um, but the Four of Wands is coming together with other members, either a soul group, maybe it's just one other member. It doesn't, that doesn't really matter. It, the, what matters is the joining participation in meeting some kind of goal or milestone. It represents a celebration. It can represent anything from a wedding to celebration of a graduation or, you know what I mean? And temperance, <clears throat> temperance is here providing balance and um, perfect chemistry is what I'm getting because of this, because of all this goodness. Perfect chemistry and you're seeing signs and synchronicities. Maybe seeing signs and synchronicities that you're about to take flight. Getting, uh, getting off without a hitch. Getting off or getting out. Getting out. patience divine timing but I mean <sighs> I have six the bedroom 
Okay. It says um, sexual fulfillment, intimacy, sensual pleasure, love affair, sleep, contentment, alone, sleep on it, retiring, dream time, dream time. Grapes, abundance, bearing fruit, merriness, abundance, abundance, abundance. And lots of action. And then temperance. So that they could... Yeah, let's get something on temperance. <laughs> let's get something on temperance. I'm not feeling a waiting feeling is why why I'm having trouble with temperance. Usually I would get a think okay, there's a pause or a wait, but I don't I'm not getting that with these cards at all. Hey, okay, a pioneer. Boldness, destination or bust, the cutting edge, the long journey, trailblaze, true grit, challenge, navigating. Uncharted territory, resourceful team, got your six, unflappable courage. This is your team helping you pioneer something. This is your spirit team. So this is also mainly about working behind the scenes. Maybe even providing inspiration for you. Your spirit team. Oh, taking flight. Taking flight. Taking flight. This, 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 this. And it's even similar colors, and these are two different makers. These are two, like the, the creators. <laughs> Why am I talking like this? There's two different um, creators here and two different decks, and they're both, these both mean taking flight, and I love that they both chose these like purple pink sky. How beautiful. Airplane, travel, long distance, speed, overcome, to rise up, freedom, no boundaries, breaking free, in control, work things out, taking off, leave it behind, internal guidance system. Oh, yes. Yes. Huh. Well. Leave it behind. Breaking free. And what are you breaking free? Leo had this one too. Emptiness, moving on. This is it. Taking off, leaving it behind, moving on, making adjustments, lonely, new life, graduating, cycle completion, time for the sun splendor, and then here you are, and then here you are, the person of fire, trend-setting leader, confident, visionary, catalyst, energetic, entrepreneur, sexy, outgoing, creative, ruthless, courageous, strong-willed. Teacher, actress, entrepreneur, artist, PR. Which I'm guessing is public relations. There you go. Because you know what? I was like not feeling the normal. Gotta have patience. Something's going to take a while. I'm not feeling that. And then this is confirming why I'm not feeling that. Happening now. You won't feel so empty if you feel so if you feel empty or lonely you won't be for long the situation or event in question is occurring right now this coming out of this period see how those colors nicely match up don't they making adjustments here is to seeing clearly yes yeah, seeing clearly evaluate your options a perspective review make sure you're wearing the glasses examine Examine something, assess something. Youth, you may have to be uh, very flexible during this time too. Um, Brett, no, this is bad. Yes, it's always good to be flexible, okay? That's just common general knowledge to say, but I think this is about breaking free. You know why? Because the airplane also says breaking free and then breaking free. Whoa, and then this one fell see and then ha happening now or happening soon jeez you have the mutable signs here you have gemini you have scorpio uh, sagittarius and pisces this is happening now with the darkening coming out of that dark time and happening soon is uh breaking free Shit. cross on the bottom 
Okay, I said this was going to be a short reading. If you need a longer reading, a private reading, just reach out to me. My um, details is in the description box. They're only $24. They're not expensive for a reading. Um, book there. Otherwise, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe if you like the video. Compromise. Compromise. Uh, balancing the scales, justice, but don't compromise yourself. Okay, compromise in a in an agreeable like. Let's try to agree. Yeah, but don't compromise yourself, especially if there's some type of five of swords energy around. I would say, big happy changes, guys, and let go. Time to fly, so let go. Yay, improving health. I like that. Aries. Five. <clears throat> it really goes in line with all of your cards. Life path number five, the free spirit ruling planet Mercury, which was the card in the very beginning that was on the other side, on the bottom. And I should have said that's travel. I, it can be travel and communication and two. It can also mean that. Running free. Want, running wild and free. Free Aries. Free Aries. From the dark hole. Free Aries. Lots of eights, guys. Eight, eight. Portal. 888 portal early. Thank you, bud. And three. 53 might be significant. You might be turning 53. And just threes in general. <laughs> okay, it says I'm charismatic. Um, it's about what you're creating. And, and remember, Trinity, okay? Yeah, there's so many things that come in trines that um, we hold sacred. It's not just that so many things come in threes. It's just that the things that come in threes often have something really sacred tied to them. You know, I am imaginative and there we go with the, um, maybe meditating with this, letting spirit help you with your imagination too. I'm imaginative. And then six, six, I'm positive here. It's about being positive and it says your angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. I'm a visionary, again, with the creativity, and your, it says your imagination is rich. You're able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways. Why? Because you're a visionary. Okay, and you're wise, so you're also being asked that if you, if you would please share your sacred knowledge with everyone else, that's what your spirit team is saying, because you are wise. Because you are wise, right? Okay? So that's what I got for you, Aries. I'm sending you lots of love. Thanks for joining me. Bye.